As you know, the pressure cooker, the first presidential debate, will take place in just two days. So we looked back at some of the classic moments in debate history, and turns out some of the spontaneous quips were scripted. ABC's John Donvan tells us about winning debate night. 28 times since 1960, plus vice presidentials and primaries with not a single moment of rhetorical greatness, but plenty of lessons on how to survive one of these things. Lesson one, pre-script your zingers carefully. Think this was spontaneous? Reagan to Carter. There you go again. Scripted. So was this, Benson to Quayle. I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. Lesson two, think spelling bee. Memorize every possible answer because mistakes will define you forever. Don't get the obvious stuff wrong. There is no Soviet domination of Eastern Europe. And have a plan to handle bizarro curveball questions. If Kitty Dukakis were raped and murdered. Mr. Dukakis there, governor, answered that death penalty question with policy talk. I think there are better and more effective ways to deal with violent crime. We've done which did so not go well for him. Which leads to lesson three. Appearances count above the all. JFK and Nixon just out of the hospital. Hale and yeah. refusing professional makeup. Lighting counts too. In 1984, Reagan's people fussed more over his than Mondale's did over his. You know, and Reagan always had a glass of wine just before going on to get those rosy cheeks. Again. Lesson four. Real debating, so far, after 52 years, not actually required here, so relax. Learn your lines and don't sneak in a look at your wristwatch, because that'll definitely hurt you. Besides, 90 minutes and you're done, possibly for good. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington. And we're so glad you were watching. You may have noticed some differences here in our studio. Let us hear from you at abcnews.com.